Hello. Today's reading is from Psalm 150. Let's hear the word of God. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with trumpet sound. Praise him with lute and harp. Play, praise him with tambourine and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with sounding cymbals. Praise him with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that is breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for your word. And we pray, Lord, that you would bless it to us as we meditate upon it this day. Amen. You know, C.S. Lewis was a great uh, Christian writer, and he said that all enjoyment spontaneously overflows into praise. He said the world is ringing with praises of lovers, uh, readers, uh, praising their favorite poets, people praising the weather, the countryside, people even praising politicians and scholars. He also said that good critics found something to praise in many imperfect works. The bad ones continually narrowed the list of books we might be allowed to read. He said, praise not only expresses delight, but completes the delight. We may come upon a breathtaking view, and the people with us have no appreciation of the beauty of creation, and we refrain from expressing our praise because they would answer, we know so what. Well, here we're reminded that we're to praise the Lord. Last night, we were applauding the NHS, praising them rightly so for the way they take care of us. And we thank God for them because ultimately all healing is from God. So the psalmist commands us to praise the Lord. And he commands us to praise the Lord in his sanctuary, praise him in his mighty heavens. Now, in the psalmist day, the sanctuary was God's temple on earth. And in the temple the, were the, the means that God had provided to approach him. And they were shadows of what was to come. So the Old Testament saints, they praised God in the outer court. They praise God with their offerings. The priests praise God in the holy place. The high priest praise God in the most holy place. And the psalmist reminds us that we're to praise God in his mighty heavens. We are to praise God in his mighty heavens. But also the celestial hosts praise God in his mighty heavens. The redeemed before the throne of God are praising God. And we are reminded that the sanctuary was the temple on earth. But the true temple, of course, is Jesus Christ. And the church in union with Christ is the temple. And we, friends, are to praise God because of his mighty deeds. Praise him for who he is. Praise him for his blessed son, Jesus, who came to us. His mighty deeds of creation, all things were created by Jesus. The Exodus, Calvary, the empty tomb, Pentecost. We are to praise God for all these things. And friends, we are to praise God for his mighty deeds in our lives. It takes the same power that raised Jesus from the dead to bring us into the kingdom of God because we were spiritually dead.
We are to praise God with, with instruments, wind instruments, percussion instruments, stringed instruments, and we are not to be inhibited in our worship of God. The psalmist reminds us that everything on earth praise the Lord. Everything in that has breath. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's pray together. Father, we do thank you, praise you, and bless you for your goodness and your grace to us in Jesus Christ. We pray, God, that you would continue with us and that you would continue to give us, Lord, a heart full of praise and gratitude. In Jesus' precious name, Lord, forgive us. Amen.